In Uganda, over 75% of farmers grow bananas and over 20 million people depend on the crop for both food security and household incomes. It is against this backdrop that National Agricultural Research Organization, NARO, is working towards improving the production of bananas by breeding hybrid varieties that are high yielding and tolerant to diseases. NARO is now engaging with a team of international researchers and agricultural scientists to review the progress of a five-year project named Improvement of Bananas for Smallholder Farmers in the Great Lakes region of Africa. The project, being implemented in Uganda, Kenya and Tanzania, aims at improving the productivity of bananas by strengthening breeding systems across East Africa. Is we want to improve our breeding efficiency. Breeding efficiency means that we produce, every time we grow, we produce more seeds. Every time we produce seeds, we have a chance of producing more, 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 more hybrids that are likely to be useful to our farmers. The other thing that we want to do is to reduce the breeding cycle. And so from the time that we get a seed to the time that we raise a variety, instead of taking over 10 years that we have been doing, we want to reduce it to like 8 years. The Director General of NARO, Dr. Ambrose Agona, underscored the need for improving productivity of bananas by rent area because they play a major role in ensuring food security and therefore called on researchers to work closely with the farmers. The thing that we need to realize, instead of increasing more land, I think it's now time to readdress and reassess ourselves. You're talking about increasing actually yield. Can we increase yield by actually putting more inputs? You heard me talking about, yes, we still get very big bunches of banana, but for how long? And of course, for a banana to grow to such kind of size, it has to mine minerals actually from the ground. But then we're looking at breeding efficiency. Can we get actually maybe the 40 metric tons per hectare from one hectare? but not from five hectares if you expand it and so on. It is expected that at the end of the project, banana varieties that have 30% higher yield and 50% resistant to pests and diseases will have been developed. At this very moment, we have created 48 new really interesting Matoka hybrids. And most importantly, we are now testing about 25 in five locations in Uganda and Tanzania. We need to know how the varieties are responding to different environments, but most importantly, how they are appreciated by the people. So this five-year project of improving bananas for smallholder farmers is funded by government in collaboration with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Diana Kuti, UBC.